There we go. There we go. <laughs> say yeah. Oh god, say yeah. Say yeah coming in to see the scarf. Oh fuck. <laughs> Sorry, as I was saying, um, as I was saying, even though nobody could listen to me, I, I was kind of in a hurry to get everything running as fast as possible since I was late, since I decided to take a nap after dropping my sister to work. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I forgot to uh, turn on the camera, and I I, I kind of forgot that I I have a button here to mute the microphone on my stream deck. My streams are scuffed too. Let's go. <laughs> the scuff truly unites us all. Also, I'm eating breakfast because, as I said, I literally got out of bed like ten minutes before stream. So yeah, hello, good morning. <laughs> I know it's night for some people, but good morning. <laughs> good morning from Canada. Anyway, let me open the game. Time zones, time zones, time zones really be a thing. <sighs> but yeah, I'm awake now. I'm alive. Is this... Your session has expired. What do you mean? Okay, let me log in again. Okay. So let's, let's, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's not waste more time because my sister will finish work earlier today. So that means I have less time. So <laughs> no time to waste. There we go. Now just adjust this on my screen so I can like read everyone and look watch properly okay i do not i don't move that understood uh there we go audio hey yo you also hello there Forgot to greet everyone, eh? They are Bellhound. Uh, I can go through chat. I know Kat was there also. Bellhound, Hardman, V, PCU, Seiya, Kalios, you, and Lamp. Good morning or good night for some of you. I am I am here. I am here. Oh, finally. <laughs> Look at that Percy cat. But yes, so... So, in the last streams, I've only been, like, reading. But today I'll actually be playing. I'm gonna see... I wanna see how far I can get into hard mode before, uh, before, before I cry. I have a bunch of keys. Not picking Rico, you're right. You're so right. You're so you're so correct. <laughs> Hard mode is just <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you, Seiya. <laughs> anyway. But uh, yeah, because I know, like, hard mode is also like the intended difficulty. Wait, why do I have, why do I have th this? Why do I have 10 of those? So I already did, 
I already did it on standard just because I wanted like whatever completion stuff I could get. But if you see, I haven't touched hard mode at all. So, yes! I'm gonna see how far I, I can get. I, I wish, I hope I can finish it in, in hard, but like since I focus more on like reading the story and I wanna finish before the Gears Frontline event drop, <laughs> before fixed point drops. <laughs> Good timing, Mika. I'll like, if, I, if it gets to a point that I just can't, I'll, I'll just switch to a standard to finish reading. And then I'll, I'll suffer on my own, trying to try to complete it. Since like I know this is the regular difficulty. But uh, yeah, I finished I finished chapter five, so it should be should be should be fine, right? Should be fine, should be fine. And I can do the the hardest one of the farming stages, even though they're not that hard. But it uh, should be okay, right? It should be okay. <laughs> Yeah, no, exactly. We'll be released after any anyway. But uh, I kind of wanna, kind of wanna read it while while it's it's going. <clears throat> so yeah, let me have another spoonful of my oatmeal and we'll begin. Hmm. Sorry, I don't know how to eat. Danger sound. The sudden appearance of a natural disaster. So also last on chapter five, um, Croc is in a coma, so we, mo we we lost our tank, and we we discovered the um, the entropics, which is totally not parapluie. <clears throat> On the beach, Copley Sector. A couple of uninvited guests have snuck their way in here at some point, like blots of ink that have suddenly appeared on a blank piece of paper, and they look exceptionally out of place. Oh god, it's them! Does she have? I haven't seen. I haven't read much on on the lazy. Does she have like nicknames for everyone? Yeah, this is the beach episode. Like nothing bad will happen in the beach episode. Nothing bad ever happens in the beach episode, right? Right. <clears throat> What's the matter, Hachi? Why did you stop all of a sudden? Oh, is this place too hot? Want me to get you something? I'm fine. I appreciate the concern. It's just sunlight simulated with operants anyway. It's nothing compared to underground magma. Oh yeah, she digs on the ground somehow. And, and like into the earth. And she hears voices. Mm. It's all my fault for not preparing properly. I hear it was just an ecological research sector, so I headed right over. If I'd known the simulation would be so realistic, I would have brought a change of clothes. You're good. Protective clothing is essential equipment for going on the ground. Besides, I'm already used to it. Let's hurry and move out. Don't delay your mission. I hardly ever see you so worried, Hachi. So you're worried about... Who's Suchi? Oh, Sueyoi? Yeah. Yes, yeah, definitely Sueyoi. He's always been a very capable kid. I'm sure. I'm sure he'll be fine. Hmm. In any case, let's pick up the pace and head out, Hachi. Relax and leave all the investi investigative work to me. I understand. Thank you. You should also be careful when you're by yourself. Take care not to clash with the sector administrator or the sanctifiers. Also, if circumstances permit. If circumstances permit, keep an eye on the objective that might appear. Got it. Objective. After all, this is a special environment that hasn't been seen before. The objective that we've been working for might be here. Relax, I won't forget our mission. For our K. 
Arcadia? What? Chapter 6, Divine Heresy What is Arcadia? We're here. This is the Copley sector. I've checked again, and I'm sure the signal is coming from this sector. So, Odile is here? Arcadia is such a dark name. It is! <laughs> Kinda makes me think of like a children's book. Someone else is collecting dolls. This means war! Only I can collect them all. Should be. I'll start cracking the firewall now. Wait, Antonina. We need to go about this cautiously. After all, back in the Pyridis sector, we were attacked by the Entropics the moment we tried to open the firewall. But we don't have much time. We didn't pursue Odile all the way here for revenge. Flashback. Crocs more badly infected than any of us. We might not be able to solve the problem just by dive diving into her tertiary level. We still need the source code to completely eliminate the entropic problem. Crest condition has gotten worse ever since we returned to the oasis from Pierides. The medical team is doing their best to save her, but all they can do is slow the infection down. We won't be able to make it if we don't attain the entropy source code. We need to get our hands on a high order entropic as soon as possible, dead or alive. But Anna, Persticari has a point. The more urgent the situation, the less we can afford to make mistakes. Should we pick on Sol or...? It's not like you to be so hasty. Oh, whoa, she didn't like that. I'm sorry. I apologize. I will never say it again. Can you say that really pisses me off, Professor? I'm sorry! Relax, I'm not that reckless. I just don't want those entropics to get the better of me. After all, I am an expert in computer virus research. How much did I miss? Eh, Senpai, you just started, so you just missed the lazy and has to cheery talking in the beach on something about Arcadia. In any case, it's not like I was going to make contact with the firewall without any preparations. I've been researching the code structure of entropy all this while. At least when I'm cracking the firewall, I can see if there are any entropic disguises as part of it. So what happened last time will not happen again. Yeah, and I decided to not bully Solf, and instead I pissed off Antonina and I regret my choices. I see. Well, that's Anna for you. Sol relaxes and leans against the firewall. Well, we'd better hurry up and crack the firewall then. Uh, did she fall? Sol? As she lays against the firewall, Sol suddenly loses her support and is only spared the disgraceful fate of going ass over ticket. <laughs> what is that expression? Sol suddenly loses her support and is only spared the disgraceful fate of going ass over ticket by her swift reflexes, which allow her to drop into a row instead. Parkour. Are you alright? What? What the hell, Anna? Didn't you ask me to open up the firewall ASAP? Is this a sort of version of us over TD? And what is that expression? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> also, I feel I'm too small. Let me accommodate myself. I'm too tiny. Or like I'm too not centered in my in my spot. There we go. That's better. Oh, also I forgot to do these. There we go. And <clears throat> Antonina's fingers dance over her keyboard. As we look at the firewall again, we see that the section which had been bearing souls weight has silently vanished in an instant. Okay, you're upside down. Okay. And who came up with that expression? I did say that, but but that was way too fast. 
Well done. Are you still? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Why can I never make you happy? For some reason, it sounds like sarcasm coming from you. And while I did speed things up a little, I can't take all the credit. The firewall here is exceptionally fragile. I can almost sense the lack of operands backing it up. Is it related to the fact that Coplay is a private sector? The capacity of private sectors can't compare to those owned by big corporations. Capitalism! Mm, perhaps. However, when you look inside the sector, they definitely don't seem to be lacking for operands. So, make sure you dust your hair off when you get up. Hmm? Or something seems to be sticking to my neck. Is that sand? Let's go! After cracking the firewall, what appears before us is a scene that looks like it could have come from the real world. The pale blue sky meets a deep blue sea as a straight line in the distance. Dazzling sunlight shines down on the beach. It's hot but not scorching, filled with the life and passion of summer. A gentle, a gentle breeze blows through the shade cast by a nearby tree, as though to strum a traveler's heartstrings. Good sexy was coined by Dr. and poet William Carlos Williams. Is that really his name? Is he really called William Carlos Williams? What kind of name is that? He's a doctor, so it must be a technical term. <laughs> Ocean, sand, and heat babes in bikini. Yeah, exactly. Nothing bad. This... This is awesome! Also, what is that thing that Sol has in her hand here? That she's throwing up in the air? I've always wondered. I've never taken a close look at it. Did they simulate all this with operands? I find it a little hard to believe. Give me a few more seconds. Right, I found the registration form data. This sector's listed purpose is marine ecological research. So you're saying this is a sector for simulated ecological research? I type here instead of what it's fine because we wanna we're gonna hit on them. Right? Hey there last! Welcome! Very interesting, isn't it? Humans polluted the sea in reality, and now they can only reminisce about the past in the cloud server. Wow! Thank you, thank you for the thank you for that. How's it going? Going good. The owner of this sector was probably an oceanographer from the previous century. But there's no sign of Odile, is there? There's no sign of liquid entropy on the beach either. Surely it hasn't all been washed away by the waves, has it? It doesn't matter. My tracker is still working. Let's keep moving. Oh, then let me be your guide. You see, this is making my blood boil with excitement. Oh, why you shot so suddenly? I'm sorry about that. But Prof, Persicaria, Anna, aren't you guys aren't you guys excited about all this? This is the ocean! It's nature! Err, uh, we know that. Finally, we've been freed from munching grass in some beat up old power station or squeezing up against some short circuiting pillars. Thanks, humanity. It's awesome to hear you screwed up the oceans. Yeah. Have you forgotten? I'm a guide doll for wilderness expeditions by profession. I'm back on my home turf, so can I lead the way? Can I, prof? Oh god, what is she, a puppy? We'll be counting on you to be your meat shield. We'll be counting on you to be your powerhouse. Yeah, even though I never use you. Leave it to me! This time... There won't be any problems. Anna, is the signal coming from this direction? It's Antonina. Given the coordinates, that direction seems like the right one. Okay, I'll blaze a trail while keeping an eye open for the entropy and the sanctifiers. Make sure you stay behind me, guys. <laughs> Look at her, she's so excited. Yeah, she's so happy. Can't wait for everything to go wrong. <laughs> Narrator, there will be many problems. I like Sol. What do you mean, Spellhound? I like her. I actually like her a lot. It's just that 
from what I've heard, she's pretty much useless in game, so... <laughs> Persicaria, are you alright? Oh, I get it now. Happy Mika won't tolerate happiness. <laughs> Mika, please buff soul. Soul buff when? Oh, I get it now. So the stuff Sol said about eating grass was the energy herbs in the Helios sector. And the short circuiting pillars were the data arrays and the enigma sector. Were you thinking about that all this time? Meta, she's low tire wife who she's in her hearts for real, for real. Remember Siegfried from Fate Grand Order? Oh yeah, I do. She is totally a golden retriever. Persicaria, I think you really do need to rest. Guys, look out for the lesser sanctifiers patrolling at 10 o'clock. Stay as low as possible and quietly approach the professor and me. Roger. Got it. Wait, what happened to the tracker signal? <clears throat> Abnormal situation detected. Shifting movement route. Entering alert status. Preparing to switch to combat mode. Relax, they won't be able to spot us. But that lesser sanctifier's going over. It's safe over here. Move like I did just now and travel through the lower lying region. Trust me. Antonina returns Sol's steady gaze, then closes her terminal and slowly creeps towards Sol location. Metal Gear noise. Drum! I love that noise. I should get it. You're high on my soundboard. That's right. Stay low, use the terrain for cover. We remain still, not daring to make a single sound. The mechanical wheels of the sanctifier's movements slowly draw closer. Whoosh. Anna, over here! A gust of wind blows, and the branch beside the sanctifier rustles at its sways. At its sways. The alert of sanctifier changes direction, and Sol uses this opportunity to quickly grab Antonina's hand and pull her over. Ah, I keep pressing the wrong button. The last environment. I am determined to be a part of the sector operations. Must be in the wind. <laughs> Report generated. Return to pre-assigned patrol route. We only dare breathe sight of relief when the sanctifier has moved far enough away. I <laughs> just still games. Phew, that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> that voice acted, thank you. Thank you, Sol. <laughs> it was nothing. Actually, we could have just fought it if things really didn't work out. Fighting lesser sanctifiers like this is hardly a challenge now. Still, we triggered the security systems of this sector even if we beat it, which will cause a lot of problems afterwards. If you hadn't taken the opportunity one with the wind blew... I'm sorry, I really have been impatient lately. Ah, uh, don't say that. Still, I can't believe Antonina lost her cool. Is there any trouble? It's trouble, alright. Specifically, it's Odell. Antonina's face turned severe as she mentioned Odell's name. She opens her terminal again and shows us the glowing green screen. We were supposed to be very close to Odell's location, but her signal suddenly vanished just now. It vanished? I can't be sure if it was because of environmental or artificial factors. I'll try to pick up the trail again, but it'll take time. Then we should take a break nearby. We might end up having to fight a tough battle afterwards. Right, right, right! It's very important to get enough rest outdoors. Don't stray too far from me, guys. Make sure you stay within view. The temperatures here are fairly high, so mind your thermal dissipation. You sure sound like a leader, Sol. 
Yeah, I thought we'd have to fight those sanctifiers. Thank goodness we had you leading the way. Using the terrain to hinder vision, I didn't think we could evade sanctifiers like that. <laughs> nah, I'm not all that great. But back then with that sanctifier, your movements were so swift and certain because you expected the wind to pick up, right? Ah, uh, it's just some knowledge that came with experience. Okay, that's enough. If you press me anymore, it will start getting to my head. Things went as well as they have because the only thing we've encountered so far are a few scattered lesser sanctifiers. That does seem odd though. We haven't seen any intermediate sanctifiers on our way in. This sanctifier's movement pattern seems quite uninspired. It doesn't seem like there's anyone directing them. Um, cool. Could it be something like what happened in the Pierre sector all over again? If Sora is getting a glow up, is she gonna die or betray? I don't know, man. I legit don't know. I doubt it. At the very least, the lesser sanctifiers we've encountered so far haven't been entropized. So even if there was an infection, it wouldn't be on the same scale as in the Pierre sector. In any case, we ought to move quickly while we still haven't encountered an intermediate sanctifier. They're probably propping her up to get her down. <laughs> Antonina, how's the tracking going? I love how none of us can trust Mika's, Mika's writing. We, we all expect pain, always, at every turn, in every corner. Not good. I'm trying to reconnect to the signal, but I'm not picking it up at all. What? Don't tell me the tracker was destroyed. Did Odin realize we were tracking her? Judging by the conditions under which the signal disappeared, I don't think the tracker was destroyed. It's more like she has entered a region where there is no signal. No signal. Now why will there be a region with no signal around here? Don't panic, Antonina. Could the environment here be disrupting the signal? I can hear some noise from the sea. Does it have anything to do with the signal's disappearance? The sea? Wait a minute, Persicaria. Your ears function like parabolic reflectors, so they should be sharper than ours. What kind of noise it is, is it? Can you give a more specific description? It's kind of like a fizzing sound, a bit like bubbles in soft drinks. The sound of bubbles on the sea? No way! Sol looks towards the beach and her face suddenly blanches. The waterline that was just a few meters away from us has receded over a dozen meters away. Oh no, that's never good. The tide is receding. It's a tsunami! Right on cue, we feel a faint tremor coming towards us from the depths of the earth, steadily growing in intensity. That's not how it sounds. Run! Oh crap, it's Signo Cthulhu! Just then, unexpected impact sends us all hurtling to the ground. Right after that, a massive wave of ice-cold seawater rushes towards us on the shore. Guess we'll die. Anyway, it's stage time, which also means breakfast time for me. If this is just a simulation, can we drone here? Excellent question. I don't think so. Alright, it's tutorial time. Oh wow, what happened to the FPS? Who's ready to praise the old ones? Careful, soul. The waves are coming. The wave activity here is very heavy. One comes every six seconds and it will sweep us to the other side and disorient us. This sort of thing happens in the real world too. You can avoid that by staying away from the waves, right? Indeed, but the waves will leave puddles in their wake, which will slow us down. Got it. Let's be careful when we fight. I, I never pay attention to... Oh, they're fine, they're fine. I never pay attention to the waves when doing this in the standard. I was like, yeah, I was just like, yeah, they're gonna be like swept around a little bit. 
Units affected by the super armor effectile are immune to seawater. Alright! Tutorial cleared. All right, now let's go for the real thing. See, this is my team. This is why I'm like, let's see how far I can go. Alright, let's go for Warrior. Hello there, Panzer. Um, you here? Mm. You there? And right, let's hope for the best. I really like Nerfal panning to the battlefield. I love it. And I love how they make like different animations for each sector. Well, I don't know what's happening to my FPS, but it's 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 good now. <laughs> All right. Um Let's go with Medic. The level of detail is insane. It is. Truly is. Alright. Uh, they're doing fine. Everyone's doing fine. No problems. I just let everyone get tossed around by... The waves in different. Oh, true, that could be it. <laughs> the gacha. Hell yeah. Mm. Let's see if I can get something else for Nyanyaka. Okay, so seems to be doing okay now. It's just the um, first few stages that has issues with. I'm going getting out of the stage, apparently. Hell yeah, HP shield. You love to see it. Just not rescued. But uh, let's get something for our guard. Wave incoming. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, life steal. Mm. Let's upgrade. I don't really need someone near it. Oh.
It's only the one layer, so it should be okay. Oof, okay. Well, they're fine, they're fine. Uh, never mind. They're dying. <laughs> Hatsuchiri scares me. She's always talking about hair. About a, a hair. And I'm like, what are you talking about? But okay, so far so good. The tip, part two. Decisiveness. The clues are often fleeting and opportunities never knock when you're ready. Whoa, the sea! A wall of blue that drowns out the sky fills my vision. My body loses the support of the land and I am tossed about by the ocean's currents. Although I don't need to breathe in the cloud server, I'm still filled with an instinctive fear of the abyss before me. Can you imagine if you is affected by story events really were unusable or really crippled? I will I will die. <laughs> I will just instantly die. Croc is the only tank I have like maxed. Pro Professor A warm hand grabs hold of me. Water gushes past my ears, and the scene before me resolves into clarity. Prof! Sol. Don't panic! Don't trash around! Relax and kick at the water, then move slowly toward me. I do as Sol says, slowly moving forward. Persicaya and Antonina have already joined hands. The four of us form a circle, floating amidst the ocean swells. Look at that ocean art. For real, it's so pretty. Everyone, hold on tight to each other and maintain your balance. Then try to think of a way to head to our shore. Wait, so over there. It's taken all of Antonina's strength just to keep herself oriented. So she gestures into the distance with her eyes. We follow her gaze. There is a massive vortex amidst the raging tsunami and sea water is spiraling into its center. That's a maelstrom at the heart of the tsunami. Keep away from it. We'll be done for if we get sucked in. No, look at the heart of the vortex. Is that... a hole? Ah, yes, I see. As the seawater is sucked in, the naked seafloor gradually becomes visible to us. However, the rocks there are not flat like we expected but jutting out into a yawning maw that tints at a bottomless abyss within. I see. The bedrock is shifting. Co Calm down, everyone. This must be the result of some kind of tectonic compression. Normally, when I was generated in a small region like this should be over soon enough. So as long as we maintain a certain wave swallows up the rest of Sol's words. The seawater pushes us a good distance away before we have the chance to poke our heads back above water. <laughs> this tsunami happened so fast, but it's got so much force behind it. How is that possible? Don't try to apply normal logic, Sol. This isn't the real world. Everything is simulated through operands. Another wave's coming. Look out! Before Antonina can finish, a massive wave surges toward us. Uh, and Persicaria's voice is thrown out by the wall of sea foam that crashes down on us. 
An endless expanse of seawater fills my line of sight once more, and the ice-cold seawater gradually saps my strength. Amidst this chaos, the only thing I can feel is soul holding on, holding on tightly to my hand. Relax and don't panic. I'll save everyone. So wraps her arm around my body, and I feel myself rising steadily. It seems Soul has managed to find the right corner among all this aquatic turbulence, and it's steadily taking us away from the heart of the vortex. <gasps> Hang on to this. Giving people with thalassophobia small dose of PTSD, for real. After leaving the water surface for a moment, Phil pushes me towards something. I instinctively grab it before even registering it is as it is it as before, before even registering it as a stout tree trunk. Professor, are you alright? <coughs> I'm fine. I glance over at Persicaria and Antonina, who are also staying a floor by hanging onto this tree trunk. Persicaria grabs my hand and I can feel the cold in her palm. This is bad. This tree trunk can't take our combined weight. All we can do is... So Sora lets go of her grip on us, and Antonia immediately grabs her. What the hell are you doing? Relax! I'm much better at floating than this big old log. I'll be fine. No, it's too dangerous. There's got to be another way. Just as it looked like we're stuck between a rock and a hard place, help crumbs from an unexpected quarter. Grab on! There she is! An unfamiliar voice calls out to us from the distance. Immediately after that, some kind of rope-like object swiftly and precisely coils around my waist. I reach down to touch it. It feels smooth and slippery, like rubber. However, it doesn't feel like an inanimate object. It even quivers when I make contact, like some kind of sensitive animal. This is... When I look up again, I find that the others have similar ropes wrapped around their waists. How are you guys? Are you okay? The same voice calls out to us again, and we follow it back towards its source the, on the shore. There is a green-haired agent standing on the beach, one hand holding onto a massive rock while the other is waving wildly to us. There is some distance between us and the spraying seafoam prevents me from getting a good look at her. However, I can still tell that she's dressed in a very peculiar way. She's not attired like the agents of Magracea, but more like the Thomas from the real world. The strange thing is, both of these agents' arms are occupied. So how is she controlling those ropes? I know we're only starting with any bet on who's going to be disabled dead by the end of this. I see that I'm all, a lot of people believe Soul. So, so will be the, the victim. I, I can't hold on much longer. I'll try to pull you to shore, but there's only so much I can do on my own. That's enough. Thank you very much. Soul shouts toward the agent on the shore. Upon hearing Soul's response, the agent sighs in peace with relief. Prof, I can take you up to shore with this rope, but I can only bring one person with me at a time. Maybe you should go with me first. Take Persicaria first. I can still hang in there. No, Professor, you... Oh, true. Your temperature control systems. Oh, bro, this, this music. I just realized. Your temperature control systems can't maintain your normal body temperature temperature anymore. Now isn't the time for us to be giving way to each other. You're right. Please hang on. Trust me. Prof, I'll leave Anna to you. No problem. So she has Persicara's way to herself, then has Antonia take the freed up space on the trunk. Anna, stay with the prof. We'll come to get you once we get to shore. Got it. 
assure that everything is in order, so I finally let's go and show to the alien on the shore. We're climbing up the rope. Please hold on tight. Leave it to me. Holding onto the rope with one hand and the Persicari with the other, Dol climbs toward the shore. The wind and waves slowly die down. After making sure that the two of them won't be in danger on the way back, I take hold of Antonina, who's blowing up and down on the water surface in time with the currents. Hold on to me, Antonina. This way you won't be tossed around so much. Wait, let go of me. The intensity of Antonina's reaction exceeds my expectations, and I hastily, hastily release her. Er, I just thought it would be safer this way. No, that's not what I meant. I connected to Odile's signal. You're still doing that? In this situation, I mean, f fair. Antonina struggles to bring up a glowing green screen in midair. Her eyes focus on the constantly changing reading and curves. She's under the bedrock in the center of that vortex. What? I look toward the maelstrom center, as Antonina indicates. As the waves grow weaker, the fissure in the rocks begin to close up. Through it, I can vaguely see purple liquid churning within. Help me thank Sol when you get to shore, Professor. Wait, what are you doing? Antonina, what are you... Antonina suddenly pulls off the rope wrap around their waist. The green-haired agent on the shore exclaims in surprise from afar. In the next moment, she's already thrown herself at the vortex and vanishes under the sea foam. <laughs> you know what? Let's go after her. We're fucked already anyway. There's no time to hesitate. I shrug off the rope around my waist as well as swim toward the direction where Antonina has vanished. The force of the vortex has greatly less lessened. The so many skills that I still remember from my training are enough for me to control the direction of my forward movement. Soon, I arrive at the outer edge of the maelstrom, with the fissure directly ahead of me. The gap that's left is barely wider across than a person. There isn't much time left. I look around. Antonina is nowhere inside. She must have died below the bedrock. I swim downward, and as I do, I open a calm window to Persicaria. Good to see Antonina got her prejudices straight. <laughs> yeah, for real. Transition. Professor, what happened? Did Antonina get sucked in? I can't remember if that was was the one I was I, I was using for calls, but uh... no, she swam there of her own will. She swam all that signal down there. Let me dis listen for this for a little. Hello, hello. Oh yeah, this is this was the one. No, she's being too reckless. Ah, oh, fuck! Forgot to. There we go. Forgot to turn off the thing. No, she's being too reckless. Oh yes, I think so too. But I also know that Antonia is not the sort of person who does reckless things for no reason. And the fact is, we do need to take a few risks. By that, you mean... Two people have better odds than one, and they won't risk as much as four. You're going down there with Antonina? No, it's too dangerous. Relax, I know what I'm doing. Besides, you'll be up here, won't you? You and Sol should find the sector administrator. There's no way an ecological researcher won't know about such a large cave under the sea. The administrator might know how to open the rock stratum. As long as you can do it again, we won't be completely separated. Alright then, I understand. I forgot to put the thing. At this point, all I can do is trust your judgment. Please stay safe, Professor. Contact me immediately once you find Antonina. Don't worry, I will. Oh, there's no, she has no idea what she was doing. As I hang up, the cave that's about to close comes within arm's reach. I keep my eyes focused on that black entrance and hold myself inside without looking back.
If it was a real Percy guy, she would say good luck and say she'd be waiting for us with coffee. True. My visibility dwindles to nothing. Behind me, I can hear the lapping of waves as slowly subside. Let's go! We're gonna go greet Cthulhu directly. You love to see it. Vortex, the door to solitude. What is it to start with 41k? Oh, it's fine anyway. We're we're okay. Look at them go. Okay, I'm done. I'm done with my old mirror. Yeah, I was eating breakfast. <laughs> because I got out of bed like 10 minutes before stream. Alright, I'll take that. Let's see if I can get something for Kuro. Destroy the summoning thing, please. Oh hey, I have the lazy. I didn't realize. Didn't realize the lazy is there. Do you put Joe in the oatmeal? No, I drink it with oat milk. <laughs> Alright, true damage. We like true damage. Mmm. Come on, destroy the thing. Never had oatmeal with oatmeal. Trading area, but I don't have I don't have coins. Oh, warrior, all right. Come on, get rid of it. All right. All right, we're good.
Uh, worth of chain, life steal, or bloodthirst sigil. What does bloodthirst sigil do, though? with that one upgrade oh true damage or lifesteal Lifesteal is always nice, it is. Okay, nice. That one is still with. We're doing good, we're doing good, we're doing fine. Now, that was 6-3. So the next one should be 6-4. Six, 6-4 four. Six, four and 6-5, so I guess we go down first. Yeah, part 3. Alright. Just finish the banner hard mode, let's go! Barrier, it's just like a hedgehog. What? <laughs> water! Look, 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 look. The water currents in the ocean shone violently, and all I can hear is a dull gurgling. I try to stabilize myself, but the undertow has me firmly in its grip and it drags me into the blackness. Falling. I'm falling. The bright ocean surface grows more and more distant. What lies beneath the hole at the bottom of the ocean is in a vortex, but a massive hollow. Cold air leaks at my skin, and before I can react, I am dumped into a pool of water again. The rocks above me crash together with a dull thud, until the last of the light is swallowed up. The, the bubble sound in my ears though, I'm just like, ah yes. ASMR. This pool isn't deep. I can poke my head above its surface just by standing up. After some fumbling, I reach the water's edge. This is some nice art. Are those Antonina and Hatsuchiri? As my eyes slowly adjust to the dim light around me, I can fully take in this large undersea hollow. I look around, but there's no sign of Antonina. Are I searching for her? Since the conditions on the ground are not yet clear, I decide against shouting rashly. Instead, I start searching for Antonina with my eyes. This cave is extremely spacious, and a quick look around reveals someone atop a rock in the distance. Given the pale green monitor floating in midair near her, that must be Antonina. Antonina, is that you? Professor, it's me. Why are you up there? Did you find something? There's a barrier here. I'm trying to break it. 
I'll come to you. Give me a few minutes. Several minutes later. The rock Antonina Sun does not look all that tall, but after climbing it, I can clearly feel the distance between it and the ground below. Climbing up here was hard. How do you manage it? Oh, just a little trick. Still, I can't believe you actually climb all the way up here in just a few minutes. I thought you were just tooting your own horn, Professor. I'm just a frail bookish researcher. <laughs> this is my secret to Professor Tom. <laughs> um. I regret opening my big mouth. Dork answers for real, for real. So, why do you follow me down here? I didn't want to let you run around on supervise. Would you believe I slipped and fell? <laughs> Very smug and sarcastic, yeah. Will you make such an elementar elementary mistake? I doubt it. Never mind, it was my fault for actually trying to get a proper answer of the one person among us who's best at messing around. Take a look at this, Professor. As I approached her, I soon realized that though it's been drawn out by the green glow of her screen, Oprah is slowly oozing out of her body. Wait a minute, how did you get hurt? Did something here attack you? You could say that. It's too complicated to explain. Try hitting this rock over here. Use a tactical skill. <laughs> or have they? As the glow of the tactical skill fades, a quiet sound comes from the bedrock above. In the next moment, the rock I struck blows faintly and my arm aches like it's been slashed by a sharp blade. There's this, there's this thing that we're not really sure if this is pre-singularity or after singularity because the thing is that if it's after singularity it will mean that it had to be like after continuum turbulence since, you know, the commander gets captured during singularity. Right. It was during singularity, right? Or am I getting my events mixed up again? So like it has to be in on that time frame. Especially if we consider I this is spoiler territory. <laughs> I will say it, I will say it. <laughs> Sorry, I was stretching. Is Commander who's with the machine or it's a brain scan? Definitely hooked. That's also a thing we don't know. We haven't been told. We haven't been told uh, what is it. So there's there's theories about both. But uh, yeah, they was like a machine like the animals at the beginning. But it could just be like the brain scan machine, you know. So one theory says that, uh, that the commander is actually hooked up to the machine and it's just that, you know, that time goes faster, like, like there's like time dilation, uh, which is why, you know, so it doesn't like, he doesn't like disappear for months on end on your front line. But there's another theory that says that it was like because you know the commander is still running around in girls' front line. Some theories say that it was may probably just a brain scan, that like a brain scan copy that Persica uploaded. And unlike the 
real commander just kind of like, you know, had to had their brain scanned. Their brain was uploaded and they, like the commander, just went on to their day to like suffer in your Stronland universe. But I, I think there might be more blues once a uh, 416 event comes around. Percy got did give a hint. I mean, yeah, she did say something like how it was like a one way upload. I too would love to blot my brain scan so I can go back to suffering while my brain scan also suffers in new and horrible ways. Extra suffering. But yeah, Persica does mention something about it being like a one-way upload. Which is kind of weird. Because I mean, like one way you will assume that it would mean, does that mean that we can't get out? So what, will this commander slash professor just kind of Disappear at the end of Neural Cloud? Dun dun dun. It really makes you think. You would say the brain's kind of screwed to the arena? True, true. But yeah, there's that. And about the timeline, I know. I know we got a flashback in 416's event where she appears. So I guess we'll have to wait to see if she has her mod on or not because I don't remember. I saw the I saw the screenshots, but I don't remember. <laughs> <clears throat> the vetro can respond to attacks. Yes, it can reflect our attacks, and it takes very little time to do it. When did you When didn't you just tell me about it? I think an action is quicker than an explanation, don't you think, Professor? The bedrock on the ocean floor is made of a special kind of operant, which is extremely dense. I tried contacting Persicaria, but I couldn't get through. I'm guessing its incredibly dense structure is blocking out communication signals. <laughs> Sorry, Prof.x, I need to make room for FNAF security breach. Oh no, the worst way to go. In other words, if we can find a region where the barrier is thinner, we can contact Persicaria. You catch them quickly, but that's assuming we can find a thinner portion of the barrier. If we can do that, I could get the two of us out of here in no time. I've been trying to send comp signals all this time. If there are any weak points or if the rocks split open again, I'll find them immediately. But since there's no way to be sure that these weak points do exist, my first plan was to bust a hole in it, and my attack rebounded on me. We went through other underground passages before, but nothing like this happened. Would it be a special feature of this sector? No, there would be no need to disguise it as bedrock if this were an ordinary sector function. All the other sectors designed had their own functions. The fact that these jam signals and repels attacks looks like... Like someone is secretly holding something in captivity and is preventing it from escaping. As you thought, I'm certain I can describe decrypt this and open up a hole for us to escape from. Also, there is just one other thing. Let me guess, it has something to do with Odile's signal? If you guess it all, does that mean I don't need to keep explaining? I simply thought you were the sort who would drop your pursuit of Odile so easily and spend your time staring at the walls. You're really starting to piss me off. But yes, my dragon of Odile's signal has been severely disrupted. Right now, I only have a very rough idea of how far away she is. Still, it's not as though I came away empty-handed. The memory of that purple liquid I saw on my way down comes to mind. Let me guess, entropic signals? Should I praise you for your clever deduction in a cutesy voice? I wouldn't mind that. <laughs> I like that very much, we have more important matters to deal with. Okay, let's go with that. At least you were a well over current situation. Antonina works quickly on her terminal. 
which shows several huge red dots slowly gathering together. They're here. Just as Antonina said, a strange sound comes through the air. That sounds disgusting. It's like something soft and sticky scraping over the rock, leaving behind a liquid splattering, or also like a wet life form dragging its feet as it slowly approaches. Through the faint light on the ground, we see the approaching beings. They have no solid shape and look like shellless inter invertebrates. From their cut signatures, they appear to be entropic creatures of some sort. One, two, three. More and more of these purplish black aliens are creeping in the darkness, and we can't get an exact count of, the, of their numbers. If one captures them, we'll be able to learn about these entropics. If they refer to the vastly exceed our expectations, we may have nowhere to run. Antonina and the prop have a really good back and forth. They do. I love it. I love their interactions. What should we do, Professor? Prepare for battle. Let's go battle! Now, before jumping into battle, I'm just gonna quickly get a drink. So I'll be, I'll be right back. I'm not gonna put the BRB screen because I mean I'm literally be, I'm gonna be like right here. Alright, sorry for the delay. She's never coming back now, I'm here, don't worry. In the makeup version, in a good chemistry is a big red flag. I mean, to be fair, almost everything is a big red flag in, in the makeup verse.
All right, let's go. 6-4. Where the light does not shine, sin pulls together. Sin pulls together to form this. Wow. I'm having so much trouble reading. Oh, God. I hate... I hate the stages with, like, set characters. Source of Entropy. Summons entropic waves every six seconds. Nice. Lovely. You'll love to see it. The control signal is coming from that liquid entropy source. But why is there machinery here? The entropy waves are about to start, start up. Professor, get behind cover. I hate the ones with enemy spawners. Also true. They're also annoying. Destroying the source of entropy will stop the entropy waves from coming. If we don't start hating us, they'll die less through the loud zero of pain strike. <laughs> if these are natural waves, then the entropy wave will stop once we destroy the generator. Alright. Easy. Yay! All right, tutorial done. We go to the real thing. Six four, yeah, six five, six four, six five. Arctic warfare. <laughs> FNC enters the chat. <laughs> Depths. Walking under the dust is aching to falling deep into the abyss. Alright, 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 alright. We're good, we're good. I'm good, right? I'm okay. Entropic region. Venture forth into the Laramon Tropics. Affected by the Entropic look, it only still 30% more damage. Additional Entropics recover 5 percent of max HP every 3 seconds while well, non-entropics lose 7.5 HP every 3 seconds that's cheating um, medic it worked, FNC didn't die I mean I guess, but at what cost I want you guys to destroy the thing Sniper. Look at Nanaka attacking a, a dude there. <laughs> True damage. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. <laughs> HP shield. A random function card. Mm. Give me coins, I'll take the coins. Oh god, Nineka is dying. Medic switch. 
せてもらおうかこのザコの性能It would be the true meek experience for f n c if it was canon. True. It could be canon and like no one will bat an eye. Lifesteal.、Um, yeah. Let's go! Come on, come on, come on! Let's go. <laughs> All right, give me functions. Ah,、oh, assist Hubble. And barriers that cross. Hmm. Oh, I forgot to do the thing. Kill the, kill the wave maker. All right, they're good. They're good. They're doing fine. Okay, I'll take it. Ranged. Okay, 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 okay. All good, all good. Long range dolls. I mean, sure. Upgrade a function.、Um, bam, bam, bam. HP shield. Or lifesteal. Or throw damage. Hmm. <laughs> Go with true damage. The i m p r e s s i o n say we wouldn't be able to go back out into the real world until we actually found the real prop and brought them back. I think she said something like that. Like she as I said, she mentioned something about it being a one way ticket. Whatever the fuck that meant. I'm gonna kill this one. <laughs> I forget the ones about the ones in the corner.
This one does something annoying. Yeah. And this one is heal. So those are the annoying ones. I mean, they're all annoying, just different ways. I should have healed her. Can I... Oh, it's fine. She doesn't need healing anymore. Uh... Oh, now she needs healing again. God damn it. Well, rip. <laughs> okay, it's fine. We finish at least. Oof. Truly an oof moment. That was 6-5, so now we should go to part 4 up. I'm guessing this is back with like Percy, Carrie, and Delacy. One must let down their guard around others. Now everything is calm and beautiful again. M Mission complete. Two targets have been successfully rescued. I didn't think it would take so much out of me. On the beach, the green hair agent is sitting on the sand, talking on the black data cables that are scattered across the ground. Why did everything go suddenly silent? Opposite her, Sol, who has just made it to safety, has her eyes glued in the direction of the ocean. Are you alright, Sol? Anna and the prop went, went exploring underground. I've got experience leading underground expeditions too. If only I could have helped out. I'm sure the professor must have reasons for doing that. Also, didn't you just, didn't you just save us? You already helped us a great deal. One person can't do everything by themselves, you know? Yeah, it was a brilliant rescue attempt. I saw the whole thing. The great hair alien has appeared beside the two of them at some point. I've seen a lot of dolls work in extreme conditions, but you did just now was no less impressive than what they do. Thank you very much for your help just now. You're a doll, aren't you? Yep, I know you, Miss Persicari of Project Neural Cloud. I think I remember your file too. You should be Miss Delacy of Sparrow Heavy Industries, right? Indeed I am! You remember my name after so long, that's everyone's leader for you. That girl seems very quiet. <laughs> Title drop. Persicaria, do you know her? Not that well. All I remember is that she's a tall maintainer technician. My dream job. Yep, yep. My job is to perform maintenance on other dolls. Huh, you must know a doll's construction very well then. Oh no, the wink face. Of course I do. Make sure you let me know if you're not feeling well anywhere, Solly. Solly? It was fate that we met. From now on, we're friends. Why don't you call Sol? That makes you Solly. I give nicknames to all my friends. <laughs> then nice to meet you, Dolly. Hey, Persicaria. I like her. Why didn't you introduce us sooner? Um, frankly speaking, I didn't know Mr. Lacey all that well. Persicaria lowers her voice. Also, she already had a clique of her own friends while we were still in the cloud sector. <laughs> oh no, she had a clique. But was she mean girls? As an outsider, I wasn't good at inserting myself into the interaction, so I don't understand her that much. She had a clique? But doesn't that mean she's easy to get along with? Oh, the social anxiety, for real, for real. I get it, Persicaria. I suppose... What's the matter, Soli? What are you guys talking about? Delacy approaches them and Persicaria hastily changes the subject. 
Ahem, um, well, since you still remember us, that makes things easier. The truth is, we those who are stranded throughout my Gracea have founded a group called the Exiles under the Professor's leadership. <laughs> Delay is certainly likes to connect with people. I don't like how that sounds. We came to the sector on a... um... on a mission. Since you're a friend from the Neural Cloud sector, why not join us and work with us, Mr. Lacey? Huh? I can join too? Thank you, Persicaria. But I can only travel with you for a while. At the very least, I won't be going back to the Oasis with you. Eh? You'd rather keep wandering the cloud server alone? Oh, it's not like that, Sully. Actually, I've got friends of my own here already. Friends? What do you mean? Well, like you, this is our first time in the Copley sector. I think we got here maybe half an hour or so earlier than you at most. I came here to look for my friend. Just like you exiles, I wound up working with some of the dolls from Project Neural Cloud who had stuck here as we tried to survive in Magrasea together. So basically, there's a second oasis? Or base has another name? Hmm, let's not talk about that for now. Is it Arcadia? In any case, we're collecting resources throughout my Gracea and working hard to survive. Not long ago, one of our friends went to Copley Sector on a scouting mission, but then we lost contact with him. His name is Suayoi. Does that ring a bell, Miss Persicaria? Yeah, if I recall, he was a door from 42 Lab. Yup, yup, I entered Copley Sector to look for him. I was on my way to the admin center to ask the administrator to run a search, but then I ran into that tsunami along the way. Then those huge waves out of the blue really startled me. Another faction, yeah. How they mind that without the sandbox barrier thingy? I mean, I guess they have another way to give the sanctifiers away. I used to work in extreme environments back in real life. I shouldn't be cleaning my mouth while I talk, I'm sorry. I used to work in extreme environments back in real life, but the real world never had disaster that struck so, so quickly. Yeah, 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 I couldn't react to it either. The tide just came in all of a sudden. Oh yes, you used to go on scientific expeditions before, right? I've supported field expeditions myself as well. Really? Then we have lots to talk about. Other friends! Sol? Mm. Ahem, let's just stray off topic. You go first. Well, so I grabbed onto a tree with my tail and managed to avoid the first wave. Then I managed to fall back to a safe area in time. Your tail? Yeah, you don't don't you see it back there? That's what I grabbed you with just now. Right on cue, the black data cables which were draped over a rock for Drape over a rock for sunning, suddenly twine up into a bundle and stand up with an audible chink. What? That... that's a tail? Yup, yup. See, I can wheel it like this too. The tail cable sways back and forth in time with the lazy's cheerful words. That's kinda cute. Not gonna lie. This rings a bell. According to your profile, you perform maintenance on dolls with a tail composed of multiple data cables. In any case, I found you guys lost at sea after that, so I came over to help, and you know the rest. Now then, since I've told my side of the story, isn't, your, isn't it your turn, Miss Persicaria? What is your mission here? We... Sol is about to speak when Persicaria glances at her sharply. She trails off hesitantly. We're looking for something here, but I'm afraid we can't disclose any details at the moment. Huh. That sounds hard. Is there anything I can do to help? I'm sorry, but it probably lies outside your field of expertise, Mr. Lacey. I see. Still, if you're talking about unknown things, I've seen traces of something like that, you know? I came across a big puddle of some kind of liquid on my way here. It looked pretty gross. Liquid? Could you tell us more, Dolly? It's not far from here. If you're interested, I'll bring you over so you can see. This... this is... 
precious of liquid entropy, I'm sure of it. Not just that, Sol. Do you see this? Shikaya bends down and picks a black feather out of the liquid entropy. Oh, ho, 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 ho. a swan's feather. Could it be? Odile? She's commanding these entropic creatures. Looks like our trip wasn't wasted. Well, have you guys learned anything? Persigaria, I can tell which way they went. I can tell which way they went from this liquid. Should we give chase? But Mr. Lacey. Oh, it's okay. Don't mind me. Go finish your mission first. Let's go, Persigaria. Ew. I hate those sounds. We found them. There's three of them in total. Good thing these guys aren't fast. There's more liquid entropy up ahead. Look like there are stragglers? We won't be able to obtain the source code from these low order entropics, but maybe, maybe there's a high order one with them. They spot us. They spotted us. Sol draws her blades and cuts down the first entropic creature before it can attack. RIP. Noticing the commotion, the other two entropics approach them. Persigaya summons up her opponents and repels one of them while Sol clips the other in half. Just as Sol is about to take care of the first entropic, she sees black data cables circling around behind the enemy. Ha! Dali, don't touch his tentacles! The lazy tail is about to touch the entropic, but then the former suddenly pulls up at the last moment and the entropic creature's tentacles hit nothing but air. After that, the tail's midsection slams viciously into entropic creature heads and sends it flying off into a distance. I didn't know you could hit them like that. Are you alright, Mr. Lacey? I'm fine! Are these your enemies? Don't just rush up like that. They're a kind of very dangerous virus. <laughs> Sorry about that, but I just wanted to help you out, Sully. Plus, it just so happens that this is the way to the admin center, which is where I was headed all along. Wait a minute. Did you say the admin center? The admin center is just up ahead? Could this entropies be going after the sector administrator? Oh no, that's bad. Yep, and if the administrator gets infected, I wouldn't be able to find my friend either. She's too helpful, she's definitely evil. <laughs> or she's gonna betray us at the, in the end. So let me go after them with you. If one of fighting the virus, I can be useful too. Real sus. Well, let's talk about Eldritch Orders, the doll with actual tentacles is the lazy instead of Hatsu. That's a tail, it's fine. Hatsu has an actual octopus with her. Really? Will you be willing to help? She does resemble her PK-16 a bit. Kind of. I was gonna ask, is it... I'm not sure if it's... Is it... I'm not sure it is... Is it, is it the, the DeFi artist? That's great. Um, Soul glances at the lazy and then at Persicaria. And she suddenly makes up her mind well not. Sorry, Deli, but it is kind of important. We need to discuss this for a bit. Give us a few minutes. I don't think so. Persigaria, did you notice anything wrong? Why do you ask? Because you were clearly giving me a look just now that told me not to trust her too much. I've been around you long enough to understand your cues. Hmm. Yes, well done, Sol. But why? She did save us, so why do you seem so wary of her? Is it because of what happened in the Neurocloud sector before? Or because... I just don't get it. I trust your judgement, but I still want to know your reasons. The reason is simple. The lazy is hiding something. Think about it. When we first met, we never once mentioned the Oasis. Then she just went and brought it up. Don't you think that's weird? True! Persicari wants to be the only mom in the team, that's a real reason. 
now that you mention it, you're right. We've taken over several sectors to date, so it wouldn't be strange for wondering those who have heard of the Oasis. But then why is she pretending she doesn't know? So you're saying the lace is keeping a secret? I can't be sure. Still, it's best to be cautious. The lace knows we exist, but we know nothing of the base she mentioned. <laughs> God damn it, Sam I'm down for that. Who's down to be the lace's boy or something? I don't know. Hmm, that does sound a little sinister. In other words, we're one step behind her in both intelligence and counterintelligence. Since she's got something up her sleeve, we ought to be cautious too. <laughs> Raise that. Right, let's inform the prof. What's wrong, Persicaria? Actually, I've been trying to contact the professor for a while now. But I just can't get through. You can't get through? But how? Remember how we lost Aura's signal? Yeah, I don't think Soul could betray anyone. She's too much of a puppy. Oh, you mean like how it came back when that bedrock opened up? That's right. So that bedrock might be jamming signals. But in any case, we can't contact the professor at the moment. So it does seem like a very bad situation. I see. Sun more to herself for a few seconds. Persigaria, we need fighting power right now. Cross is still waiting for us, and we have found traces of the entropy. There's no way we can't give chase, but we might not be able to take on the entropy with just the two of us. While she does seem a little shady, like you said, Macy's are telling me that she means, she means us no harm, for the time being at least. Let's just take her with us for now. But puppies can bite by the hand that feeds them. But what if my control so out which I like against your will? That seems very Mika. God damn it. <laughs> oh, I love that we're all so paranoid. Makes me feel less alone. <laughs> let's just take a, let's just take her with us for now. Is that the conclusion you have reached after carefully considering our options, Sol? Yeah, I mean, I did rack my brains, at least. I'll keep an eye on her at all times just in case something really happens. I understand. You do have a point. We can't use tread water here either. We're in a race against time. Ah, you're back, Persicaria. Also, I like how she has not given Persicaria a nickname. You're not paranoid if you're expecting a bidding in Amika again. <laughs> True. How is it? Problem solved? You could say that. We believe it will be a good idea for us to move together. That's great! But it might be very dangerous. Are you alright with that, Mr. Lacey? Oh, I've seen all kinds of danger in the real world. It'll be fine. I see. Let's get along then, Mr. Lacey. Sure thing! Now, okay, now she stop calling her Persicaria. <laughs> sure thing! Let's be friends, Percy and Sully! Being with friends is the best, after all. Yep, leave it to me, Deli. Speaking of which, did you come to the Copley sector by yourself, Mr. Lacey? <coughs> huh? No? Actually, I came with a friend, but something happened halfway and we got separated. Her name is... The latest simping arc starts now. Let's go, question mark. I kind of want to roll for her, I'm not going to lie. Just because I can. <laughs> Her name is what you shall never know. Mm. 
Do it. All right. <laughs> Oh, I have some... DNC, I have my basic searches max too. Alright, let's do... One roll. See what we get. Just one. Imagine getting a three from basic. I seen it happen, but not to me. Okay, no one important. How many rolls do I want to do? Maybe I do the 60 to guarantee a 3. Or until the first 3, yeah. And then we bail. Oof. Okay. There we go. We got a three. Now, who would it be? Who would it be? We're going for the slow reveal. Octogen, my boy! Oh? Oh? <laughs> nice! Streamer like real! Streamer like real. He makes it look easy. <laughs> Only 30 rolls, not bad. Not bad at all. I don't know why I'm buying those. I love not having money. Both of them are house. <laughs> I got a, uh, I got Hatsu and um, where's the other girl? Don't Chan her, Chanchi. In the same role. I already had Chanchi before though. I also got Hatsu in the twenty poles. Where's she at? There she is. I actually really like her... Where can I see the, the art? Here. I really like her... I really like her art. The last one.
just because it 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 it, it, it speaks to my to, to my to my technician I don't know <laughs> I don't know what <laughs> but yeah there there's her tail Oh, Kuro, Kuro gave me a hard time somewhat. I got her in like a hundred pulls. And I hadn't pulled for anyone else, I think. But yeah, I like and I like the... I'm not gonna lie, I like the... I, I like being able to finally see something of a skeleton of a doll. You got Nyanyaka! Nyanyaka! Nanaka! How cute! I love her. I love her, look at her. The cutest. I wanna get her. Look at her, she's so cute! I love her. You are pulling for not fauna. I mean, but you got Nanaka. Now, should I level up the lazy? I don't know. I mean, I probably will just because I got her and it feels like a waste not to do it. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, we we'll go, we'll go back to story. I can't believe I got her. <laughs> what is she for yet? Who? My Nanaka? Because I'm poor. I'm sorry. How many am I missing? She'll be... She'll be four by next week, maybe. You still be poor? <laughs> uh, I'm kind of trying to... To... For... Banksy and... Hatsu. So might be a while. But I kinda I kinda wanna get her to four for the art. So maybe I will. Maybe maybe I will. Maybe maybe I maybe I uh I'll consider it. I'll think about it. But anyway, story. Woo! Woo! This system kind of reminds me of Fate Grand Order, so it kind of brings me war flashbacks. But anyway, we go read... No, actually no, we need to do a stage now. 6-6. Six, six. Undertow. Danger conceals itself under peace. <laughs> right? Yeah. I'm like, I, when I saw how it worked, I was like, oh no. It's a roulette. I think they were called, we were called roulettes in Fate, or was it bingo? I don't remember. Uh, let's go with all. Maybe? It's fibrous, yeah. But I mean, it reminds me of like the boxes in, in Fate, Ground Order, remember? That you had to like empty the boxes to move to the next one. Oh yeah, yeah. it was using Dark Knights too. I don't think they've used that system again. They probably realized people have bad memories of it.
still don't understand why you can reset the roulette without having finished them. Uh, because it's... People actually rage because it had good rewards in it. Oh, true. But I mean, people rage in Arknight for a lot of things. I know, I play Arknight. <laughs> you just don't see me streaming Arknight because I am completely awful at it. But yeah, the, the idea of the roulettes is that, I mean, there's like the important rewards. You know, they're like time limited to the event. So it's basically a way of like giving, like if people want to like get all the event rewards quickly, you know, if you get it, you can reset it if you want. Yeah, with time left, it's not likely to be having a lot, but like, look at me, I'm still stuck on the fourth box. <laughs> like, I'm very bad, I'm always very unlucky with this kind of, with this kind of events. It always takes me a lot to like, empty them. Or like, to be able to reset them, I should say. But like, it will be annoying if you already had like, you know, the important rewards. And you had to get like, you still had to get like all the lesser ones to be able to move on, you know? They change it during the event run or move the infinite box thing where you can get things easily right without farming on a stage. Right! The, right, I forgot about that. Uh, All right. I don't really understand what the laces skill do because I never read a skill, so I just kind of use them. But it looks cool. I should probably read what it does. <laughs> AOE heal? That's useful. Yeah, I thought, like, if she's a medic, so I thought she'd, her ult will heal. The escape from her tail, releasing 5 energy pulses at a 1 second interval on the battlefield, dealing upper and damage equal to 80% rush rate to the enemies, and granting an HP shield equal to 20 to 50% of her to ally units. Okay! I like that. Why is she bad again? Sorry, I don't I don't know the meta, so you guys will have to explain to me. Why is she considered mid? I guess they're just like I guess they're just like characters that you can get that just do a better job at their jobs. I mean, that's what I'm saying, like, it sounds good, but I know she's not very used, like, meta-wise. Which makes me curious as to why. Is she just not proficient enough since she kind of does two things at the same time? Oh, her regular heals? She heals only when she tethers and only one target. Ah. Why? 
damage reduction, I'll take that. Her ult is nice though, I like it. I like her ult. But I guess like you really need like another medic. If you're using her. She's okay in warrior teams, trash or snipers. I see. Okay, this is going well for a uh... doing hard mode? I'm confused now. Did I jump into standard maybe? I don't know. I'm not, I'm unsure because this is too easy. <laughs> We shall know soon enough. Yeah. But I mean, it's on 42k, so it shouldn't be standard, right? The boss had 42k. Oh, there's another layer. But then I'm gonna have the stages made already on standard, so... And I'm pretty sure I selected something that had the little blue... the little blue point of like, you haven't done this. Or maybe the final boss will fuck me up. I guess that could happen. Alright. Nice. Warrior. 
She's not a good at healing, she's going with the buffer unit. Oh, okay. That makes sense. So she's more of a buffer than a healer. Where have their heart rate increased? Look at Soul go. All right, Senpai. Have a good rest. Erotic since she's on ten and so true. Uh, I mean, I have no space, so let's just upgrade and upgrade. Because I like the cards I have now. I'm doing I'm doing great. Alright, upgrade a function. And let's go. I like how it sounds too. So. All right. Let's see, where are we doing the right one? Yeah, we are on hard mode. Well, will you look at that? Will you look at that? So that was 6-6 six, six and part 4. Then we'll come 6-7 and part 5. So we're back down under. With uh, Antonina and the Pro. Also, I did the the tower defense in in normal, and I, and I hated it. So I'm uh, looking forward to do it on hard. Home. Haste makes waste. My buttons are not working. The twiner shrieks in the ear-piercing way unique to the entropics. The tentacles dangling below it suddenly turns up before it starts spinning like a bustle and slashes at Antonina. The tentacles tear through the air, producing a sharp whoosh. You're two o'clock! Antonina quickly darts back to the right while swiftly typing under her terminal. Data forms into a barrier in front of her. She, bend she bends down slightly, eyes fixed on where the entropic creature is attacking from, waiting to patch up the barrier the moment it breaks. However, the thing stops spinning the moment it touches the light screen. The twiner is sent flying several meters by the intense collision before collapsing to the ground twitching un uncontrollably and sending sticky, light purple operas flying everywhere. Hmm? Wait a minute, these entropics are ridiculously weak. Antonina condenses operas into a ball and fires the bundle of red light from her fingertip, striking the twiner squarely in the middle of its torso. Based on our experience in the PRD sector, an attack like that shouldn't, shouldn't even be able to breach the surface layer of an entropic creature. 
but right now it's left a big charred hole on its body. 60, no, 40. Professor, these things only have about 40% of the defensive capability of similar entities from the PRD sector. They don't even have 50% of their attack power. Make use of the terrain and wipe them out. Got it. Soon, Antonina has destroyed these bootleg copies of entropic creatures. They dissolve into a puddle of fluid which seeps into the ground. Instead of fighting to the dead like the ones we encountered before, the few who got away flee in a hurry. You won't get away from me so easily. Wait, Antonina, don't rush in! Just then, the purple-black tide washes in again. I pull Antonina back. This annoying tide again. <laughs> By the time we find our footing, the sticky sound inside the cave has receded with the tide, and the cave grows still and quiet once again. I saw this coming, but still giving me the shivers. The tide's gone down, let's keep chase. Following the signal, Antonina leads us deeper into the cave. The further we go, the more dangerous our surroundings become. Antonina, I know you're anxious, but you've been acting rashly ever since you entered the sector. If anything happens to us, there'll be nobody to help cure the epidemic in the oasis. Alright, you have a point. I'll listen to your commands from now on and keep us both safe. Hmm. Say something already. <laughs> what, I can't take the awkward silence, Antonina? Mm. Discuss their tactics? Or their forms? Did you learn anything new from our battle, Antonina? Mm. The entropics here are different from the ones which attack the oasis and the ones in the PRD sector. They aren't fully formed yet, there's a lot of redundancy in their code, and they seem like some kind of prototype. In addition to that, they seem to be suppressed in some way. They're weak enough that we don't have to worry about taking battle damage. <laughs> Let's break the tension. <laughs> They're certainly weaker than the ones we've encountered before, but they can't be that weak, right? Unless... Unless... Never mind, I haven't thought the whole thing through yet. She said that they were kind of some kind of prototype. Do the entropics come from here? If so, why? Who is making viruses? Discuss the entropic creature's tactics. If I remember correctly, this is the first time we encountered entropics who voluntarily retreated, right? Huh? Antonina seems a little startled by my observation, but she soon regains her composure. Well done for noticing, for noticing details like that in the middle of combat. Much as I hate to admit it, I realized one thing while talking with you, Professor. I'm sure our objective lies here. You have an objective that isn't Odile? When I arrive on the ground, I pick up a very powerful entropic signal, stronger even than Odile's. And if the entropics here are using tactics, that is, if someone's commanding them, I'm fairly confident that there's a big fish down here that we're looking for. Doesn't seem a little too soon to find the source of the virus, I mean, I get? It's true. So you're saying that even if we don't catch Odile, we might be able to obtain the source code? It isn't a matter of might, we have to. Well, that's good news, but if we find it, we should contact Persicari and the others to ensure we have enough strength to take it on. You were just thinking about going off by yourself, weren't you? Antonina's your one and only also thoughtful network security assistant. That's as if she will abandon the vulnerable professor and go after the enemy by herself. Looks like you're really happy about finding a clue. Che. The underground cave is so big and empty that other than our footsteps, all we can hear is dropping water. We allay your sense of ease with occasional snippets of conversation until we reach the point where the signal stops moving. 
Love what you've done with the place. This is it. Those entropics have formed a herd and they're protecting their den, their den in the middle. They're operating like bees. The drone's protecting the queen. Hmm. So that powerful signal is here? What, already? No, I gave a signal so this intensity their own label representing a small hive. Careful, the tide's coming in again. Just then, the purplish black tide churns once more. Antonina grabs my sleeve, and we both dive behind a nearby rock pillar to avoid it. A sticky sounds rush towards us along with the tide. The countless entropics thread threaten to engulf us. Antonia deploys her barrier again, barely managing to hold off the horde of entropics. In the next moment, I notice a figure among the stalactites on the ceiling of the cave. Speak up. Heads up! Antonia immediately turns the analysis lens on her terminal to where the figure is, but the entropic attacking from ahead makes it impossible for her to split her attention. The tropic that was in the air just a moment ago is now squirming futilely on the ground. A lance pierces its body and the tropic creature immediately dissolves into a pool of liquid that vanishes beneath the ground. It's her. Meanwhile, the lance's owner effortlessly extracts her weapon from the ground, then turns black to glass to glass at us. It's her! Plus, this is another source of the virus. Blood twist, the virus is everywhere. That's... Sensing danger, the entropic creatures that sprawl on the ground quickly gather into a group. As the tide surges, they shriek at the entity who fell out of the sky. Pathetic. The tide surges to the ceiling on the cave in an instant. On the entropic's twisted cries echo throughout the underground cavern. She swings her lance in midair, and the spinning leaf blades at its tip move the tide of the entropics in the direction she wants them to go. After that, she puts her lance away and vanishes below the surface of the ground, like she was diving into water. A signal analysis complete. She's one of the dolls from Project Neural Cloud. It did she just dive on the ground? Over there! A lance quietly emerges from the center of the entropic tide. The leaf blades at its tips spin rapidly, drawing the surrounding entropics into it. Several seconds later, the doll lands amidst the receiving tide and fixes her lance, sweeping away the few entropics that remain. Antonina and I move up. The last entropic is reduced to a puddle of fluid at her hands and vanishes. Wow. She's OP. Um, <clears throat> chat her up. You... Before I can finish, the doll turns to look at us. Her face is covered by her helmet and we can't make out her expression in the gloom. My eyes seem to have met hers for an instant. But just a moment later, she turns away. They'll be back. Be careful. We do a little soil collapse disassembly, it's just normal stuff. Also, to prove her point, the entropics immediately start pouring towards us from all around an endless, in an endless stream. Invite her to fight with us. Since this is an emergency, why don't we... Why don't we try to get out of this together? Alright, I'll be counting on you, professor. It's her! Just casually breaking the laws of physics, nothing special. So now we do 6-7, 6-8, and we go up. What is this team? Alright, let's just go. The cussy detail details. They up and damage to nearby enemies, including Trojan, Scorch, and blah blah. And the Splasher. 
low order, the other was a mid order. Next enemy forces away three times, it's like this open and damage to the first enemy heal. Oh, now we have we got her name. Professor, these entropics are upon the directives given by those of a higher order. This Kusiro is a mid-order entropic. If we defeat it, the lower ranking entropic will be briefly stunned, which will help our offensive. Are they entirely dependent on orders from their superiors? That sounds like a tree-shaped network structure. Where have we heard that before? I wonder. That seems to be the case from what I've seen so far. Prioritize taking out the higher order of entropics to buy more time to attack. Please command us in battle as you see fit, Professor. God damn. <sighs> okay. Can I change the... I can't change the thing. Okay, now they did it. I guess he just automatically lowered the difficulty for me. Now we do the actual stage. Friendly faces. In the land of the bizarre, finding a friend is a great comfort. Just one layer, so we should be good. We should, we should be good. I'm getting closer and closer to the point where I feel the event will kick my ass. Ooh, oh. I can move this. Mm. Dusty waves and tropic region. Okay, this is fine. Do I wanna? Can I wanna go medic first? But I don't know if I wanna go up there. So let's just go sniper. Oh, and this is the thing that makes the waves. And low entropy, low entropy, low entropy. What about this one? Middle entropy. So if I kill this one, I should. Uh, it's on the other ones, I think. Whoa, I don't know what happened there. Alright. Uh, I might need to have uh, the go the double medic route. Go with that. Let's keep him more HP. Ah. 
Let's heal Hatsu. Okay. Okay, we're fine now. <laughs> look at them. <laughs> look at them. <laughs> All right, damage reduction. Yes, that will be useful. Yes, give me something for medics. Thank you, Kudo. <laughs> Savage! Damage boost, medic boost targets crit damage. I mean, that also works. Anomaly. Just give me the coins, I don't want to lose HP. And trading. Mm. Warriors inflict an additional amount of true damage when they deal damage. Okay. What does Bloodthirsty Sigil do? Okay, let's get that. And Swift Strike, I think. All other units are silent for 10 seconds. Mm. No, I can't click on the name of it. Oh, maybe here? Oh, there we go. Bloodthirsty Sigil. Normal attacks are guaranteed to crit and deal an extra 30% life steal. One stack of this buff is consumed every time this effect is triggered. So let's get all the stuff for for Hatsu then. Let's get all this stuff, all this good, all this good stuff. And leave. We upgrade functions. Uh, let's go with that. And let's go and hope for the best. Let's get rid of the waves first. Where's Hatsu? Where's Hatsu? Everyone focus on the big guy. No, Hatsu! <laughs> Retry. All right, let's try putting this girl there and hope one medic is enough for everyone. This is low, this is mid, and this guy is mid too. First try, take two. <laughs> huh? so 
All right. All right, all right, all right. First try. Absolutely. Totally first try. How do you think she says Mona? Wait, who? Okay, we did 6-8, so let's do 6-9. Kuro? Oh. I mean, you don't know. <laughs> let's go, we go back up. In brief, don't listen, don't care, don't think, don't know. Just like me. And then, and then, what did the professor decide on back then? Did they take the, that unfamiliar doll under their wing? Or did they reject her? What happened? The lace is walking cheerily ahead of the other two along the shaded path, her tail swishing up and down behind her. <laughs> me too, I say, you're still here. Oh, tell me, Percy. I got the blushing face. Uh, my heart. <laughs> she needs to know the lore. She's just like me, for real, for real. Uh, then... Then the professor... Bashing your head against Black Hole 150? Bro, everyone's doing so good on those, and meanwhile I'm taking it so slowly, I'm like on 40, I think. <laughs> I mean, like, every time when... Like, if I have some free time, I'm like, I'm like okay, let's just try some a few floors. Hey, Thor! Tiago! Hello, hello! Same on 39? Yay! Dear Mika, don't do anything bad to the lazy. I don't know about that. Faced with that nigh irresistible wave of enthusiasm, Persicari slowly finishes telling yet another story about the professor. That said, she carefully omits any key information out of caution. Oh, so that's how they solved the problem in the end? What a brilliant move! Oh, it's so touching! I did nothing less of the professor. Why do I have a suddenly a fun girl? What? I see now what they meant by the lazy simp arc begins now. I didn't know such a gripping tail had unfolded in that sector. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was like, are we gonna simp for the lazy? No, she she is simping for the professor. The lazy begins counting the stories Persicaya told on her fingers. Rossum, Cyclopius, Helios. Now you've conquered all those sectors in such a short time frame. As I thought, the professor's as brilliant and wise as the rumors say. I need to write all this down. For what? Oh, you do get it after all. The prof is awesome. <sighs> I can't believe she's still hungry for more even though I've been telling her stories along the way. I love Persicara's blushing face. <laughs> for her fan face. <laughs> you know what? That's valid. Behold the fruits of your labor. You'd better be careful, Persicaria. What do you mean? At this rate, she's going to beat you to compiling quotations from the professor. What? What? Oh god, this art is so cute though. Oh, I didn't notice soul flying in the background. Oh, it's fine, she'll be fine. This art is so cute though. Look at her wig in her tail. Oh no, she's adorable. My biggest weak point. <laughs> she's 
She's a thousand percent going to betray us and I still forgive her. <laughs> I mean, can you say no to that face? Look at her. Oh no, she's cute. I can't resist. Percy, I've already written down all the stories you told me. Go on to the next one. Eh? Uh, you want more? Along with the flowers. Yep, tell me about the Enigma sector. How do you know that? Um, Mr. Lacey, do you know the professor from before? She's very heavy industry that explains a lot. If evil, why woo? Huh? Nope. Oh god! With the little Percy in the corner. Oh my god, I love this art. I'm gonna so wanna put this as. As. as uh, yes, uh, desktop background. Or maybe I'll use it for thumbnails for the next one. I don't know. Like I can to I like to keep the thumbnails the same for events, but like look at this art. Look at this art. Just look at it. Really? Really? Then why are you so uh, uh, interested in the professor? You bet I am. I love humans who treasure dolls. Oh my god. She will love me. He loves me, for real, for real! And I love the professor who leads the doll in the cloud server even more! Uh, I'll have to confirm that with the professor when we get back. And Persica is so cute, getting all flustered. Percy, Deli, I see it! Now she calls her Percy too. Thank goodness, I'm saved. Huh? But I want to hear more, you know? There, there. Percy Kai will tell you more afterwards. Alright, alright. You're the team leader after all, Solly. Thank you, Sol. You're so kind. <laughs> I didn't think there actually be people you couldn't handle, Persicaria. Oh, wow, what is this place? Hello? Anyone home? It feels strangely quiet. That's not right. Very few sector administrators will leave their work area. Don't tell me we're already too late. I can't say for sure. Ah, hiccups. I can't say for sure, but there are no signs of a virus attack here. So we shouldn't assume the worst just yet. Or maybe the administrator saw the virus attack coming and just ran away. Hmm. In any case, we'll need to search around inside there. Let me handle it. This is a great opportunity for me to show what I can do. Now watch this. With that, the latest cable tail suddenly disperses and expands, the individual strands extending into the various rooms and corridors around them. I love how this sh they show they show the skill animatic every time. She's a cat with two golden retrievers on her side, of course she's gonna be overwhelmed. You have a good point. Wait, you can use it like that too? <laughs> I used to perform that trick for my friends all the time. I call it the tail probe technique. Ooh, please don't call it that. That's a surprisingly plain naming scheme you have there. A moment later, the lazy's tail retracts. Hmm, doesn't look like anybody's there. Could there be a basement in this building? If there were, there's no telling if the administrator is going to pop out from underground. S say what? 
You make it sound as if the animal was a zombie or something. Are you scared of zombies, Sol? Oh, hey, speaking of. Hello there. Are you the administrator? <laughs> wow, she really did pop out. Are you the administrator? Where did you pop out from? I don't think she suddenly appeared. It's more like she's been standing there all along. We just didn't notice her. That sounds even scarier. Phew. No, no. I need to get a grip. Uh, hello, Miss Administrator. Say something already. <laughs> Agents from the outside should not be here. Ah, she spoke. That sounds like me for real, for real. I do that too all the time. I just go stand behind people and they don't notice me. Please leave as soon as possible. Oh, we've got a reason for coming here. Please leave as soon as possible. Um, we're very sorry for interrupting your work, but we really need to ask a favor of you. <laughs> Xiangi! Please leave as soon as possible. Oh, hell, don't tell me we've got another dork on our hands like the administrator of the Helios sector. <laughs> dork. She said the word. I'm not a dork. The fox could be standing behind us right now. Maybe I am. And you wouldn't notice. Until it's too late. She spoke? Finding the right word is tedious, tedious. Please leave as soon as possible. Um, Miss Administrator, how should we how should we address you? Ranum. That's a name. Will you mind hearing us out, Mr. Ranum? No. Get out. I still have work to do. We came here to find a friend of ours. Friends are not within the scope are not within the scope of research. Now go. I still have research to do. For some reason she strikes me as a different variety of dork administrator. She said the word again. AI in Magrasse have a random distinction displayed by wearing less clothes, which is why Firewood has no underwear. <laughs> Man, you don't have to call him out like that. Is it me, or does she look really tired? She's like a research doll who has worked near 96 hours straight. Hmm? Yeah, she's kind of like the exact opposite of you, Deli. Hmm? Are you praising me? It doesn't matter. Now what do we do? Um, Mr. Ranum? Please leave as soon as possible. You just said you were doing research, right? What kind of research was it? Leave as soon as possible. Do you not know how to say words other than that? Hmm, we'll be going, but before that, let me guess, you're doing ecological research, right? Yes, leave. In that case, the undersea structure of the sector should be within your job scope, right? Undersea structure? Never heard of it before. Now go. Wait, 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 wait. Don't go brushing it off like that. We saw the bedrock open up with our own eyes. Never heard of it before. Never seen it before. Never witnessed it before. Go, go, go. I won't be able to finish my research. Not going to listen to your nonsense. But what if we're not making things up? Don't you want to figure things out as a researcher? Why does such a strange and bizarre ecology emerge at the bottom of the sea? Don't want to figure it out. Nobody asked me to research that. Wanna go back to my room. She's a trash shut in, for real, for real. That's being a bit too nerdy, don't you think? Come on, Persicaria, say something. Um, 
I thought of a way to get her to talk, but... But what? Persikaya eyes the lazy with uncertainty. While the other two were talking to Teranum, she secretly tried to contact the professor and Antonina again. Did she literally pull the it's not my job card? She did. There was still no signal. Persikaya scolds and finally makes up her mind. <laughs> Mr. Anum. Go. You said that researching the underground isn't your job, but protecting and maintaining your sector should be your job, right? Yes, so Ota and Aeons should go. And we will. However, I can't say the same for the other things. Other things? Yes, actually, we'll pursue a computer virus called entropy to this sector. Also, we have reason to believe that this virus is now hiding inside the Copley sector. Since you haven't heard of an underground region in this sector, it's possible that the entropy virus has swallowed out the region below us, like a rotten tooth. Ew, gross patch? But yeah, it's because a bookworm like you doesn't give a crap about what's happening outside that the entropy virus could set up shop and take over this place. If anything happens here, you're going to answer for it. Why? Because ensuring the stability of the sector is, admi is an administrator's responsibility. So please check the underground, Mr. Anum. Don't believe you. Viruses are the sanctifier's responsibility. Let them handle it. You... you really are... Call them over then. Call the sanctifier so you think you've got the guts for it. I will. Go on, call them. They're just a bunch of lesser sanctifiers. I can't even remember how many of them I've scrapped at this point. They're here. Eh? That was fast. Hmm? Look out behind you. Oh, they're entropized. That's how it's such a weird word. An entropy sized sanctifier suddenly appears at the doorway. With lightning speed, Hill draws her short sword on and blocks its attack. The hell? You call this a sanctifier? Huh? Do you really not know? Holy fuck! You can take your huh and shove it down your pie hole. Sully, I'll help you. Careful, these monsters can infect you. Yeah, I provide shielding support. Good, let's start by bringing it down. This girl has a box of rocks for a head, for real, for real. She had the big blue screen of Denny in her eyes. <laughs> oh. She is a character. Oh no, I press home. Oh god, she's so cute. She really is a shut-in, not up with the news. Okay, let's do 6-9. And we'll probably leave it up to there because I need to leave soon. Why do I have so many tags? Who's tagging me so much? Alright. Let's do this. Escape. Those who pretend to sleep cannot be woken. And it's two layers. Should be, should be good, should be good, should be good. Should be doable. I'm approaching the limit of my team more and more. I am so afraid. Oh god, Summons. 
Do we love someone, don't we? Let's go with Medic. Uh, let's put Kuro in there. Let's put... Let's leave Nanaka there. And uh, yeah, let's do that. Get rid of the summoning thingy. Oh god, there's so many of them. At least I'm not taking too much damage, but there's so many of them. Alright, I can use support in these stages, right? Okay, um, Mealy or no, let's go with Anomaly. Ah, fuck. Luck wasn't on my side. Let's go with Anomaly again. Uh, let's try this and hope for the best. Please get rid of the summoning thingy. It's all I ask. All right. Okay, so there are a lot, but I'm not getting that much damage to my units, at least. Oh, hey! Until assist. I should prepare... Or double strike. Reduce attack. Eh, no, no, let's not do that. Uh, let's go... Uh, okay, yeah, let's go with Millie. Let's get stuff for Hatsu. Keeping an eye on everyone's health. Get rid of the summoning thing, please. Okay. That's done. And everyone else is good. Yeah, they're gonna help. They're good. We're good. And what I what can I get now? Crit rate increased by 5. I think the crisis are physical defense. Okay. Damage reduction for all the units on seawater tiles. Oh, ooh, oh my god. Why do they make me choose between these two? No, no longer a stun. I'm gonna go with that. Uh, let's go with melee again. Also because the advanced ones scares me. Alright. Everyone's doing good on health. Go get that guy, Hatsu. All right. <laughs> Hatsu wasting DPS, what does that mean? 
I'm sorry, say I don't know how to play. <laughs> I apologize. Uh, Bloodthirsty Sigil... Trading area, or should I try... I mean, there's a recovery one after, right after, so let's try... Oh, like, I'm trying to kill the summoner, but like they won't they won't focus on it. <laughs> like I feel they not they don't focus on it. I don't know if I'm missing something here. Okay, it's dead. Gotta spam the target skill? That makes sense. <laughs> it used also that I should really check how the skills work. <laughs> because in my head, they will focus on it until it dies, but I'm... Um, I think they changed targets after targets after a while. Uh, stun enemies or crit damage increase. This confuses me. I've never asked actually because when it says for every unit that falls in battle, no, every unit means every unit. Like literally, okay. I'm just being dumb. Okay, I love that function. Upgrade, what do we upgrade? Bloodthirsty or Tidal Rush? Oh, there's two summoners. You love to see it. It's almost dead. Now I need the, uh, to kill the top one. Okay, they're good, they're good, they're good. They're not dying, okay. We're fine, we're fine. Uh, what's this? Anger feedback. Or is gonna charge speed up by after landing a critical hit? Okay, not bad. Do I have a space? I do have a space. Come on, load. There we go. All light. Uh, let's go warrior. Destroy that summoner. Okay, they're still doing fine. Alright. Summoner down. Now just everyone dies. Come on, kill it already. Also, it works that I'm not longer stunned by the waves. Alright. Uh, anomaly or guard? Anomaly area. Alright, let's risk it. Let's go! What 
ここでおしまい Kill the summoner, guys. Come on. Okay, it's dead. Whee! I need to remember I had the assist. I always forget I have them. I never use them. Uh, okay. Let's go function library. Um, mm, oh, allergy, 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 allergy. Yes. Give me allergy. Can I do advance? I should be able to. There's a summoner. Kill the summon thingy. For crying out loud, please. Uh, I need. Where's Hatsu? I lost her, where is she? <laughs> where is she? I can't see her, did she go underground? <laughs> oh no, guys, I lost Hatsu Oh, there she is. <laughs> so then again, Hatsu moves around a lot, so I feel like Nanaka, uh, Nanaka's healing ult doesn't really work on her too much. So on that note, let's switch your gear for Persicaria. Nice. Good night, Seiya. Thank you for sticking around. Hope you managed to be the 150. Black hole. Do I crit rate, crit damage? Mm. No DPS, I'm gonna wait a month. <laughs> Valid. <laughs> no DPS, who? All right. <laughs> what do I get for medics now? Oh, mm, bleed or what did bleed do? Mm. Uh, let's upgrade a function. Uh, where's the allergy one? Let's go.
I don't know what I got, but let's go. Come on, Hatsu, you're right there. Destroy it. All right. Now destroy the other one. Okay. <laughs> I was like, well, how, with I had a skill, which should I use? And, and th then they were dead. What happens with the cash coins that I collect, by the way? I need that, but I don't use. I actually don't know. Do they give me something? Got the beach flooring. How many? How many do I have of that? I wonder. Uh, dorm. Oh, I got them all. Yay! I got another room now. What are you wearing, Persica? I have the loft, should I? Oh wait, I do have it, I think. Yeah, there it is. Look at my dorms, they're looking so pretty. Look at Betty. <laughs> the nice beach room right next to the not so nice beach room. Yeah, you know, they're gonna, they're gonna keep things thematic. thematic. And then look, on my same park. Let's see. Do I have anything building here still? Someone wailed on room decor. Is it wailing if I didn't use real money at all? Is it really wailing? Understandable, have a nice day. <laughs> Virtual wailing. I just use the because you can you can get uh, coins for, with quartz sand, and like I've been getting a lot of that. So I just used it to buy all the furniture. Ooh, what's this? Ooh. Ah, yes, I see. I need to also one day need to actually go and, and fix everyone's algorithms because so, for right now I'm still using the auto equip even though I already have a bunch of algos so should probably start equipping them with the correct stuff <laughs> instead of whatever the fuck I'm doing but that way <laughs> the game is not the same 
That will be a problem for future me. Also, I'm trying to get Hatsu to 2. Same, I uh, love, I love, you love to say it. Chat really does reflect streamer. Imagine reading guys. I have a, it's, it's funny also because I have all, all the guides, you know, all the, all the, all the image guides from like the official server that people do, you know, like all the infographics, the pretty, pretty, that they do everything with like pretty pictures to dump it down for people like me. And I have them all saved on like my own server. And I still don't use them. But yeah, we guess we're gonna leave it up to here for now. We made good, good progress. Sounds like me for real, for real. It's just that those things that I usually play on my phone, you know, like away from my computer. So I'm too lazy to have like, you know, like kind of tab out of the game to open the guide and like the guides usually don't look that well on mobile. So I'm just like, I'm always like, oh, I'll just do it when, someday when I'm on my computer. But usually when I'm on my computer, I'm doing something else. I just, I'm kind of like AFK, AFK farming. So yeah, it just kind of becomes a vicious cycle of like never doing it. <laughs> we're rolling. Oh, we're rolling for the stats. Yeah. You should join the, yeah, Kat, you should join there for branded guides and Cute emotes. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna leave it us to here now. So next time we'll start with part seven right away. Part seven, right? Yeah, because this is six nine and this is six ten. So we do part seven. We made some good progress, all things considered, especially considering I have like Usually I should be able to go for one more hour, but my sister started work an hour early today. Which means I have one less hour of stream. So there's still a lot to go, which we should be able to finish next week. Uh, next week I won't be doing Tales, so I'll be doing Narrow Cloud on both Saturday and Sunday. Unless for some reason I finish on Saturday, then I'll just sleep on Sunday. But uh, yeah, I don't know if I'll finish, we shall see. But we shall progress at the very least. And I will continue in the meantime, continue farming algorithm, algorithms and stuff. To hopefully make my team stronger to see if I can actually finish hard mode on a stream. <laughs> did you read guys? I had them. But did you read them? <laughs> <laughs> and it's so funny too, because I'm sending it in a server with my friends because like, I got my cousin and a bunch of my friends to play. And Aero Cloud, so I, that's why I keep it. I keep all the guys there, and then they'll still come and like ask us stuff. And I'm like, ah, is 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 the threat I made a joke to you? But like, I have no right to say it because I I just I just share stuff. I don't actually read it. I kind of want to get Lamb's skin. It's cute. Look at that summer lamb. I am a joke my, to myself. I am. I truly am. I have so many fragments. Should I use them on Hatsu? Should I use him on Banksy? Should I use him on Nyanyaka? <laughs> They're real questions. Oh, I have money. Let's buy all the stuff.
give them to me? No, they're mine. Get your own fragments. Oh, I'm poor now. Let's go. Follow your heart's desires. Those are my heart's desires, Betty. Hell yeah. Look at this cat! I haven't used her much, but I want to raise her. Her life to this precious. Have you seen? She has a... She has a little tiger skin, but it's, li it's literally hair in like a tiger kigurumi. And she starts dancing as her picture animation. It's the cutest thing in life. I swear to God. Let me see if I can find it. Betty skin. Gris front line. No, not Gris front line. Never cloud. I'm sorry. I always look up like GFL, so my mind goes instantly to it. Can I see the skin there? It's here. Open image in new tab. I'm gonna show you guys real quick. Look at her. <laughs> and her her animation is adorable. I don't know if the I don't know where I can watch the animation. All right, PCU, you and your your lunch. Betty, 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 no, it's not this one. And it doesn't show the life to the anyway. Uh, let's see, maybe on YouTube. Neural Cloud Betty Skin. No, I can't find it, but I have a I have a gift somewhere. So I'll I'll share it at some point. But it's adorable. She starts like doing a nyan nyan dance, and it's the cutest thing ever. Pat the Rico, we pat the Rico. Always. My daughter. <laughs> but yeah, let's get out of here. Um, let's go back here. Mute the audio, desktop audio, there we go. I did not, let me make sure I didn't mute my microphone, my mistake, no, we're good. Oh, and need to 
uh, turn off the light. There we go. <laughs> turn off the window light effect. But yeah. <clears throat> So that will go for today. Next week, as I said, I'll be doing both Saturday and Sunday. And we'll see how far we can get. And as I said, by Sunday, I'm just stuck on hard stages. We'll, I'll, we'll just finish running from normal. But so far, we're doing good. So we should... I should be fine. I think. <laughs> Hopefully. So yeah, that will give me, we will finish just in time to uh, start fixed point on Girls Frontline, like the following week, so. <laughs> Mika really not gave me any time to breathe, but it's fine. I have a lot of fun reading this game. I like Mika games, even though they torture me and I suffer and I cry, but it's fine. We, we, that's how we love Mika. That's back to back action. Yeah, for real, for real. And I am very excited for Fixed Point. It's not so long, I think. So hopefully it won't take me that long. I won't be like struggling to finish. Uh, Particle Recurrence was okay. I didn't, I, I actually finished reading like with a week to spare. So hoping, hoping we can, we can make that work again. So, yeah, for the people that also follow my Twitch, um, during this period, I'll be doing Tales of Arise on... Uh, blah, blah, blah. How is this called again? Um, be weekly, I guess? <laughs> like, every other week. Every other Saturday. Since uh, I'll be focusing on, on Narrow Cloud and Dangerous Frontline. So I have enough time to finish ring everything but the good thing though is that my sister has a uh, like weekends off for the rest of the month so i won't have to be worried about her like being oh no she's out of work i need to go pick her up so that would be helpful in case like i want to go a little longer on an, on some day on one day but um uh, a stream will usually will probably stay like around the same length, just, just because I mean this is around lunch time for us, so we'll uh, I start getting hungry. Just a short twelve-hour stream. I'm trying to. I said this on Twitter. I'm trying to paste together the Horizon stream that got cut off, and it's like eleven hours. But it's not a... Um, da Vinci crashes every time I try to render it, so... <laughs> I might just need to... I might just need to keep it uh, separate. But yeah, I'm gonna go have some lunch. Stay tuned for the uh, schedule later today. Uh, I'll try to have it up today because I won't be doing Plague Tale on Wednesday this week with my sister. So I might, try to, I might try to do something tomorrow night. Maybe I continue 13 Sentinels or something. So I'll try to have the... I'll try to have the, 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 the schedule later today. For everyone to see. But yeah, let me... Why do I keep getting out of my... Scene controller for OBS? When it's probably the only thing I'm gonna use. I'm doing all the gameplay stuff for PS2 now and read later. Yeah, that's what I usually do. Like, I mean, that's what I did for chapters 4 and 5, since I wanted to read them. And I wanted to progress. But I I also don't want the streams to be, like, just reading. You know? Wanted to have some gameplay in between. Because I think there's a nice mix of, the both, of both things. But when time... When time is of the essence... I just do the gameplay stuff on my own and then I used to read everything on a stream. <laughs> Which is what I did with chapter 4 and 5. That I only did like the last stage on a stream because it was the only one that I was missing. Fixed Point has a lot of stages apparently, I think. 
like there's a lot of gameplay and there's just a there's a lot of NPC stages from what I know. I might be wrong. But like because I compared like I compared the number of nodes between like I went to I look up a video, a gameplay video of someone to see like how many nodes there were or any chapter, because there's only four chapters. And I checked, I cross-checked with the cutscene interpreter that has like all the cutscenes. So there's only four chapters, you know, and like the first few had like five story parts or like seven story parts. And then the last one has like 15. But then I go check the, if when I check this video, like there were like 10 notes for like the first two chapters. And then the third, third and fourth chapter had like 22 notes. So I'm just like, is, is the cousin interpreter missing scenes? Or is like chapter three full of stages? <laughs> or what are those other, what are those other notes? What are the, what are those, all those extra notes for? But I guess we shall see on the, um, when does it come out again? The 17th. It comes out the 17th. So yeah, I will be streaming that on the 22nd, most likely. Not the 21st, because I should be doing Tales that day, but on the 22nd, I'm be starting Fixed Point. So we shall see, we shall see. I might do my usual of like, maybe I do one stage or two, depending on how many stages there are so I can like farm because I'm pretty sure there's gonna be like boxes and stuff but then I'll I'll, I'll just do all my progress on a stream we'll find out next time on Dragon Ball Z <laughs> wait a second <laughs> but yeah I'm excited for fixed point because I've seen some of the CGs and there's like raw in there and there's 404 and there's Sangby's Fairy and there's Mona, I think there's, I think that was Mona, I think, at least. So I'm like, what's going on? What is going on? But anyway, that will be a story for the week after the next. Next week is still Nero Cloud, full Nero Cloud, full on Nero Cloud. And after I'm done with the Gershwin event, I'll finally be able to go and read Chapter 4 and 5 Dark. I think we were with Estacy again. Let's go. More Mona. What about my boy Jay? I hope my boy Jay will be in there. I love Jay. My boy. But yeah, I'm just gonna quickly grab a bite to eat. And then I'm gonna go pick my sister. I don't wanna keep her waiting too long because she wasn't feeling too good. So yeah, thank you guys for coming by. Uh, hope you enjoyed the stream, and I will see you next week to finish Divine Heresy. Next Saturday and Sunday, so... Yeah, see you then. Uh, follow me on Twitter if you want to see the schedule, or join our Discord for the schedule, because I also stream on Twitch a lot. I mostly just do Neural Cloud and Girls Online on YouTube, but like everything else I play, that you see me, that you see me uploading to YouTube, I stream that on Twitch, so like if you want to check out my Twitch streams, if there's anything I'm playing that you that you that picks your interest. Thir 13 Sentinels is very good, by the way. Go play 13 Sentinels. <laughs> but uh yeah, I'll see you guys next time. So bye-bye.